Now in our assist to the game, brought to you by State Farm. This was a showstopper, wasn't it? Just a difficult pass to make, and he makes it flawlessly to set up that alley-oop. And on the four for Detroit here in the fourth. We've got Gordon, Stoudemire out there with Buford, and it's Dinwiddie in at the shooting guard. Ronchic defended by Griffin, and he gets it to go. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. Absolutely. I mean, six lead changes here so far. Steve, exciting stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is a fun game to watch. Which team can kind of extend a lead and make a, a couple of big plays here to try to seize momentum? We'll see. The Pistons trailer. Buford dishes to Stoudemire. Runchit defended by Griffin. Here's Runchich. And even three on three break. Here's Hardaway. Here's Shumper. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. Great job. Take it right at the defense. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left him no choice but to foul there. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Well, they're taking high percentage shots in the paint. I like the way their offense is clicking. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Dinwiddie. Here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Runchich. Ties it again, and Stoudemire lays it in. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. New York moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Baseline jumper. That's good. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Pistons trail by three. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Shot is blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Here's Buford, off the inbound, and dead on that time. Beautiful shot. He had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. New York's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Jay, and the rejection by Stoudemire. Caldwell Poe passes to Buford. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Some solid defense here from Jane to the paint. That's tipped. Hardaway kicks to Griffin. Here's Shepard. Second chance shot. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. That's good from Blake Griffin. They got to keep fighting their way to the... That's the way to shoot the rock. Success for them. Two shots. Dinwiddie's checked in for Detroit. Pistons trailed by three. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound. Gordon. They shoot again. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. Free throw good, Gordon. Jay's checked in for Hardaway. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Caldwell Pope's checked in. And he makes the first, but misses the second. They'd have loved to cut it to one there. But they're still in decent shape if they can get a stop. No good from Jay. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. And the basket by Gordon. 
Knicks have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Now here is Augustine. He's guarded closely, cans the 12 footer. And the Knicks lead by two. Boy, bad timing. Now is not the time to be giving him that shot. Outside Gordon. He feeds it to Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. Here's Gordon. It's rebounded by New York. Jay's got it, got three rebounds so far in the game. And it's rejected. Here's Dinwiddie. There's a good screen. We've seen Gordon playing a really good game here. He has nine points. He's played the role of the pest today, too. I mean, he's caused a bunch of turnovers. And those steals are all the evidence you need of just how high his basketball IQ is. He really sees the floor well defensively. And there's the feed to Augustine. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. What a shot over the bigger man. I'll tell you what, that could prove to be a massive play in this game. You know, because of the defense in the pressure situation, Steve, that was a high degree of difficulty shot on that jump. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, Kevin, head coach of the Pistons had some words for his team over the break. He told them, this is it, fellas. Let's hit them right out of this timeout. Put some pressure on them. Show them how much you want it. Let's go get it. Guys, he's really exhorting them to give them a burst of energy. He hasn't been quite able to lure the defense into fouling him as much. Hasn't been as effective in drawing fouls here. Shoots from the line, and again, it's New York. Tell you what, it's a huge plus to have him make some shots like that. Detroit's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Dinwiddie, headed by Augustine. Dinwiddie passes to Caldwell Pope. Five to shoot. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. The Knicks have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Jay, defended by Gordon, out to the right wing. Augustine against Gordon. New York needs to get off a shot. Tries again. Buries it. We're seeing that red hot version of Blake Griffin. Piston shooting in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Again, the miss by the Pistons. It's been a rough shooting night for him, but uh, I don't mind that shot. He had a good look at it. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth, and that's an intentional foul. When you're hot, you're hot, and that's certainly been the case for Augustine. He has 14 points and five assists. I tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. Yeah, just on the strength of his defense alone, he would have stood out, but his offense has been outstanding as well. Outside, Gordon. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Good defense, but you got to love the finish with the finger roll over the top. 20 seconds left to play here on the fourth. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yep, you got to extend the game here. Try to keep that clock from moving. Well done at the free throw line. I'll tell you what, that will make things a lot easier on them if they can continue. Here's Dinwiddie. Here's Caldwell Pope. They get it back. Here's Gordon, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Outstanding job there to absorb the contact and guide it in. That's how you impose your will against the defender. He came to play. That's his third personal foul. Penalty situation. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Two shots. 
And the second of two is good. And that puts them up by five. Twelve seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Dinwiddie. Kicks it out to Gordon. Not enough on that one as it misses. Here's Jay. So it's New York picking up the win. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, gentlemen, I'm here with Carmelo Anthony. And Melo, first off, congratulations on this win. How would you describe the team's effort here tonight? Uh, we will down way to this one. Uh, you know, we, we took our time, executed. Uh, we stayed composed, and that's something we've been doing, you know, the past two games, just keeping our composure and just finishing games. You know, we've been doing that. This team is playing great, Melo. Thanks for your time. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris, thanks. Well, that'll do it for us for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, Kevin Harlan saying so long. And as we end the game, we bring you our Jordan player of the game.